No one expected this from Toyota. Not the analysts, not Detroit, not even the EV diehards who thought Toyota was years behind. But overnight, the world's biggest automaker just detonated the battery race. A real road-ready solid-state battery, over 1,200 miles on a single charge, full recharge in 5 minutes, no lithium crunch, no cobalt politics, zero compromise. And this isn't a dusty prototype locked in a research lab, it's already rolling out of Toyota's pilot lines in Ichi, Japan, prepped for mass production. The first model, a compact Toyota priced under $30,000, aimed straight at the heart of the global car market. Within 72 hours of the reveal, battery suppliers went into panic mode. Stock values for legacy automakers evaporated by billions. And the entire EV startup scene flattened because this is more than range, more than speed. It's about control, owning the tech that can power cars, planes, homes, even entire cities without the chains of lithium dependency. Solid state was supposed to be decades away. Toyota just dragged the future into the present at scale. And in doing so, they may have rewritten the rules of the entire energy game. For decades the EV world was locked inside a lithium cage. Lithium-ion cells were the king of batteries, powerful, yes, but also volatile, short-ranged and painfully slow to recharge. And always that lingering risk of thermal runaway, which, well, is the polite industry term for it might catch fire. The question was never if someone would break free, but who? And no one, absolutely no one, thought it would be Toyota. No global countdown, no cinematic live stream, no stage lights. Just a closed-door engineering summit in Toyota City, attended only by top executives, select investors, and a handful of stunned engineers. What happened inside was nothing short of historic. Toyota confirmed that their solid-state battery program wasn't a far-off dream. It was real, fully functional and already pushing boundaries once thought impossible. These cells have been tested relentlessly for over 18 months, integrated into prototype packs that shatter every performance benchmark in the EV playbook. The numbers, a verified 1,200 miles on a single charge. Recharge time, less than 5 minutes. The same power unit that can take you from Tokyo to Fukuoka without stopping can refuel faster than it takes to pour a cup of green tea. Toyota didn't roll out a concept car that day. They rolled out something far more dangerous to their rivals, proof that the lithium age is ending. On one leaked slide from the meeting, a single phrase in bold black letters sent shockwaves through the auto industry, beyond lithium. This isn't just an upgrade, it's the start of a new battery era. One where Toyota holds the keys and the rest of the industry is suddenly racing to catch up. So why is Toyota's breakthrough sending shockwaves through the entire EV industry? First, they've removed the very flaw that has haunted lithium-ion batteries from day one, the flammable liquid electrolyte. Instead of a volatile, fire-prone liquid, Toyota's solid-state cells use a proprietary ceramic polymer matrix that's stable under extreme conditions, safe in collisions, and brutally efficient at moving energy. The leap in performance is staggering. Energy density has jumped from around 250 watt-hours per kilogram in today's best EV cells to nearly 450 watt-hours per kilogram, meaning almost double the power in the same footprint at a fraction of the weight. The result, lighter cars, longer range, sharper handling, unmatched acceleration. These new Toyota cells are roughly 30% lighter and 15% smaller than the packs used in their current BZ series EVs. But it's not just about compactness. The solid-state design makes the battery pack rigid enough to serve as part of the vehicle's chassis, boosting crash safety and structural stability. Deep inside, a hidden advantage changes everything. A graphene-infused anode that virtually eliminates dendrites, the microscopic metal spikes that slowly kill traditional lithium-ion batteries and can trigger catastrophic short circuits. In Toyota's internal stress tests, these cells have survived more than 2,500 full-charge-discharge cycles with less than 8% capacity loss. Translated into real-world terms, that's well over a million miles before you'd notice a serious dip in range. And here's the kicker. They run cool even under brutal high-speed charging or sustained high-load driving. Pack temperatures stay stable, sidestepping the thermal runaway events that have plagued EV safety headlines for years. Toyota's breakthrough doesn't end with the battery itself. They've gone after the entire charging ecosystem. Meet Toyota's Hypercharge, a 55 system, a next-generation station capable of delivering a jaw-dropping 2.2 megawatts of power through an advanced liquid-cooled cable. This isn't fast charging anymore. This is industrial-grade energy transfer. 
the kind once reserved for power plants and heavy industry. With it, a Toyota solid-state EV can go from empty to full in under 5 minutes. No more coffee breaks disguised as charging stops. This is faster than filling a fuel tank, and far cleaner. But here's the reality check. The global grid isn't built to handle sudden energy surges this extreme. Toyota's answer? Pair every hypercharge station with grid-independent storage banks, massive stationary solid-state packs that sip power slowly from the grid, then unleash it in an instant when a car plugs in. The result? No grid strain, no blackouts, and charging speeds that leave every competitor gasping. Safety, often the Achilles heel of high-performance batteries, has been turned into Toyota's secret weapon. These solid-state cells shrug off extreme conditions, from minus 30 degrees Celsius Siberian winters to 90 degrees Celsius desert heat, without swelling, leaking, or degradation. Puncture one, and instead of fire or explosion, it simply sits there intact. Toyota has even crash-tested full prototype packs inside reinforced test vehicles, simulating worst-case collisions under Japan's strictest safety standards. The result? Over 90% less heat spread in fire simulations compared to conventional lithium-ion packs. In effect, the battery isn't just a power source, it's a structural shield, reinforcing the chassis and protecting occupants in ways no EV has done before. Codenamed Toyota X1, it's not just another electric SUV, it's the first ground-up, 100% solid-state Toyota in history. And it doesn't just break the rules, it rewrites them. Over 1,200 miles of real-world range, 5 minutes to a full charge, a starting price under $30,000. That's not evolution, that's the quiet extinction of the combustion engine. The X1 uses Toyota's revolutionary cell-to-frame integration, turning the solid-state pack into the vehicle's structural core. No dead weight, no excess metal. The entire platform is 28% lighter than the RAV4, yet stronger, stiffer, and safer. And because it was designed for high-volume production from day one, Toyota expects the X1 to become its best-selling vehicle ever, eclipsing even the Corolla. While Toyota surged ahead, much of the industry froze. Legacy automakers who invested billions in lithium-ion suddenly found themselves holding yesterday's technology. Factories optimized for old chemistry now looked like stranded assets. Joint ventures were re-evaluated, expansion plans were shelved. Battery giants like Cattell, LG, and SK On scrambled to open talks with Toyota over licensing its proprietary ceramic electrolyte patents, the same chemistry critics once said could never be stable at scale. Now, they want it in. And the price tag for entry? Industry whispers put it at over $4 billion for a basic licensing agreement. Then came the market shock. In just three trading days, more than $46 billion was wiped from the valuation of legacy EV and battery stocks. Startups touting next-gen chemistries, silicon anode, sodium ion, lithium air, saw their investor interest evaporate overnight. One analyst summed it up in six words. This isn't competition anymore, it's consolidation. Toyota's leadership, usually measured in its statements, issued one simple line that echoed through investor calls and news headlines. We didn't improve the car, we ended the compromise. And that's exactly what this is. Charging stations? Less critical when you can recharge in five minutes. Battery degradation? Virtually eliminated. Cobalt mining controversies? Gone. Four continent supply chains? Replaced with domestic production powered by renewables? Toyota hasn't just redefined the battery, it has reshaped the economics of mobility. It collapsed timelines, shattered forecasts, and bypassed the five-year technology gap the industry thought was unbreakable. And the X1 is only the beginning. By 2026, Toyota's solid-state technology will extend far beyond cars, into residential power walls, grid-scale megapacks, and even aerospace platforms. Imagine an off-grid village in Hokkaido running for days on stored solar power. Imagine container ships crossing oceans without a drop of fuel. Imagine electric aircraft with ranges once thought impossible. This isn't theory, it's already under test. Insiders hint that Toyota's aerospace division is evaluating ceramic cell derivatives for next-gen drones and high-altitude aircraft, where weight-to-energy ratio is the ultimate bottleneck. All of this began with a single decision to throw out the old roadmap and build the future 10 years ahead of schedule. The auto industry is no longer just about horsepower or design, it's about storage density, charge speed, and grid integration. Whoever owns the battery owns the future. Right now Toyota isn't just in the race, it's running alone. The era of lithium is over. The age of solid state has begun, and for Toyota this isn't following a trend, it's writing the next chapter of mobility itself. 
If you thought this was wild, you haven't seen anything yet. Toyota's just getting started, and so are we. Hit that like button, smash subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss the next chapter in the revolution. The road ahead is changing fast and you'll want a front row seat.